Hey housemate friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, I've heard that there is a fabled variegated watermelon peperomia here at a succulent day. We're gonna go in, plus I have not been here in probably over a month and a half. So we're gonna take a look around and do a houseplant shop tour. Looks like there's hardly anyone in there, which is good because it means that I can film. I will see you in there and hopefully we get this, get this baby because I've been wanting one of these for a long time and they are so so I grabbed my purse and prepared for battle. I feverishly checked every single watermelon peperomia and then I freaking found it. Can you believe that? This thing has been here for three weeks and no one has bought it. Was there anything I can help you find? No, I came here just for this plant. Awesome. Okay, so we are inside. I just obviously showed you that it is miraculously still here. I cannot believe that no one has picked that up yet. But now I'm gonna show you around. They've got some other really nice goodies in here and lots of Hoya. So I'm excited to show you all their beautiful Hoya Crimson Queens. Starting over here, we have Sansevieria Mohawk. It's doing beautiful. We have this Adansonii. I love narrow form so much. It's just so much more elegant to me than the other kinds. We have a regular watermelon peperomia. Here we have Sansevieria sea foam. I've also seen people calling this mint. So, um, you know, whatever you guys want to call it. Get this beautiful pottery. I love this shop a lot, not just because of the plants, but they are one of the only houseplant shops that actually sell pottery that is made from local artists as well as affordable pottery made in factories that you can get for like seven or eight dollars or so. Then we have a couple succulents. This looks like a uh, agave, different agave species. Here we have the silver squill. I'll probably also be picking up one of these. I did not see these when I first walked in. I have one of these at home, but this is just like, I mean, you can never have too many and it's flowering, so like, why not? Pilea peperomioides. This guy is... Only $7.99, which is a super good price for a plant that full, especially when so many places are charging $20 for just a baby. Down here, we have an Alocasia poly um, and an Alocasia bambino. People are calling the ones with the thinner leaves, less round, um, the bambino, and the ones that are kind of more wide, the poly. Uh, these guys are, let's see if I can get a, price um it does not look like there is a price but i'm assuming it's gonna be like probably 20 or 15 or so we have sansevieria it does not say i wish i knew sansevieria so i could tell you guys what kinds they are here we have some crimson queens and then a sneaky little tricolor back here and another one right here more sansevieria we have the syngonium berry illusion and some ZZs. Making our way over here, we have some more watermelon peperomia. These guys are, mm, there's no tag. A beautiful begonia. This is a begonia hybrid. So I'm not sure the name, but the underneath of it is just this beautiful bright red. And if you were to shine your flash on it, it would sparkle. Amazing. We have some more ZZs right here, some smaller ones. And up here we have Calathea macanoia. Over here we have some amazing pottery. So cute. More, this is from a brand from Australia. So, you know, if I could afford this right now, I would. Um, but I've already donated to help prevent the Australia wildfires. You could buy this brand, which is Capra Etch and it will go straight to an Australian family. Then down here, we have one of my favorite ceramicists who is, um, oh shoot, why can't I remember her name right now? Brooke, thank you. <laughs> She's doing this amazing, like, I call it vanilla bean because it kind of looks like vanilla bean ice cream, but this amazing pattern that I absolutely live for. And I buy her pottery a lot. I actually went to a sale at her house the other day. Really like these old 70s style like glass. We have Pothos Mojito, just killing it. Another Syngonium, I don't know which one this is. And a Neon Pothos. Moving our way over to the cactus and succulents. 
we have oh we have more silver squill that's amazing looks like we have an aloe blizzard this aloe is like completely white look at this that is remarkable this guy's about to flower that's really cool just do an overview i love the silver squill i asked them to get more in like a couple months ago and we finally are seeing some more pop up in their shop they got like one plant in right when they first opened and it was potted up in a really expensive pot and i just could not afford it look at how cute all these little babies are and i really like these orange dots on these opuntia i really think that those are those are nice colors together the orange and the green it's very in right now Coming down here, we have a lot of Echeveria and Agave. Those two plants back there are Jade. I do not know. Oh, we have some variegated Jade right there. That's really nice. And a lot of string of pearls. The selection here is just honestly so good. Moving this way, we have a lot of Kalanokoe. Couple Echeveria, variegated elephant plant, elephant bush. More aloe, ooh, okay, whatever this is, that is so cool. I always love coming here and doing tours here because it's just like, you see things here that you can't find anywhere else in town. I like his growth pattern. Here we have a huge string of pearls. It's tempting. Koya carnosa compacta. A couple of them actually. Man, how sick would that be if they were variegated? <laughs> Here we have an alocasia regal shield, I believe. These guys get humongous if you plant them in the ground outside. Here we have a bunch of amazing cactus. I do not know the exact species of these ones. Um, I don't think it will say on the buckets either. I don't see any tags anywhere. Here we have a ficus Audrey. Okay, is it Audrey or Aubrey? Someone tell me because I, I never know. Aubrey? Audrey. Audrey. Thank you. Here we have a Euphorbia Fire Sticks. This guy is $69.99. Have some Aglionema. It's beautiful. Again, I know I said it in my last video, but this pink, that's just natural. That is insane. Like that is crazy. Up here we've got some more beautiful pottery. Only $14 for this amazing pot. More Pilea peperomioides. Some Brazil. Down here, we have a lot of Crimson Queen. Got a lot of full white variegation happening. Which of course means that it's gonna, you know, not really last that long, but that one's really nice. Only $7. Ooh, that one's really nice. I might get that. Here we have a chlorophytum. This is a relative of the spider plant species. This beautiful orange uh, stems. We got these beautiful cement pots. These are made by another local Boise artist. On this table here behind me, we have a bunch of beautiful succulent gardens about for all about $15 up to $36. That is so special. Look at this plate, again, the 70s old glassware is amazing. Ooh, look at this Teneki leaf. That is like half just pink. That is crazy. Oh, I just love the little succulents. Oh, look at this one. This one's like silver with red. Oh my gosh. 
do they order such small succulents? Baby elephant variegated. Oh my gosh. Wow. Check this out. This one's flowering. When have you literally ever seen that? Never. The answer is never. We have some more Brazil. All of these are in such good condition. Look at those roots. Pilea peperomioides. Got a little Shiflera. Big Aglionema. Underneath we have some Syngonium. I do not know those names. We have one of those more wild ferns, Calathea macanoia. That is so big. Berry Illusion Syngonium. We have Philodendron Scandens and Sansevieria. Over here it looks like we have a Philodendron, or Philodendron oil, Alocasia hybrid. Looks like it's like a regal shield crossed with maybe a Buddha's hand. Let's see if it says, nope, a sword of Alocasia. Cute, very big. Let's see over here we have a beautiful Monstera. Holy cow. Oh, I'm gonna have to check the price. This is a nice one. This is $30. Yeah, maybe. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm buying this. <laughs> Down here, we have another Hoya Shepardii. Have this beautiful fern. I do not know what kind. Kangaroo fern. This is where they keep a lot of the factory pots, so these are all pretty affordable for their size and style. My melanocrysum was living in a small one of these. Ooh, humidifier. These ones are really nice. And then we have a big Sansevieria. A couple of smaller staghorn ferns. We can get a price, $12. This is very affordable. Some more Teneki. This is all one pot. Have some Dracaena. Oh, I like that little staghorn. I like his little hole. And then down here we have another Alocasia species. I feel like I used to know what this is called and I just, I do not right now. I saw it at 36th Street a while ago. Oh, and the Matophyllum by Penifolium. That is beautiful. That is such a big, full plant. Oh, and another Regal Shield. Now for the plants up high, we have a couple string of hearts. It's $28. Have some Talancia hanging out up here. Ooh, check out how long this vine is. Oh, he's stuck. That is so long. <laughs> Just that one. Some Scandons up there. Mojito. Some Scandons. Marble Queen. And that's it. That's everything. Oh, that is such a good price. Oh my god. I mean, $50 for what? I got five plants, four plants? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sick. Hey friends, I'm back from shopping and sorry for the super weird angle. I'm trying to get some foliage in there. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna film uh, because I moved all my plants in here. So just bear with me. We're probably gonna like move around a little bit, but we're here. So I'm gonna show you the plants that I bought and then we're gonna wrap this video up. Okay. So the first plant I got, you guys saw me pick up, which is this Monstera Deliciosa. Check that out. This guy was only $30. I mean, plus tax, but tax was like a dollar. There's actually two different plants in here. There's this one, these two leaves right here, the small ones, and then this big one is just one plant. Um, it's totally bug free. Though it does look like there is some, some symptoms of bugs in the past, so I will definitely be giving this plant like a thorough checkup. I cannot believe $30 for this thing. How could I, how could I literally not? It is also Deliciosa, you can tell because the internodal spacing is like boom, 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 super close together. 
Um, and it also has the waves on the back of the petiole. Forzigiana usually has really small leaves that are fully fenestrated and the internodal spacing is very long. I have another Monstera that I bought yesterday. Oh, it's so sad. I bought it so that I could film a how to propagate Monstera video because everyone always makes their Monsteras rot. And I didn't buckle it in my car and someone had to slam on their brakes because they almost missed their turn and instead of just being a responsible person and you know, driving back around again, they slammed on their brakes and I almost hit them and my Monstera wasn't buckled in and it fell forward and every single petiole broke and it was beautiful and I paid $60 for it. Can't believe that this one was only 30 because this is twice the size and it's twice as beautiful, so. Then, we have this bag. The first plant I picked up is a gem. This is why I went there. My friend Chloe told me about this a couple of weeks ago, probably two weeks ago, and she's been going back and like hiding it for me. You can see. And we actually have two variegated plants in here. We And we have two unvariegated plants. So this one, this plant has one leaf and it's just that one. And it's putting out a second one down here, but I don't think you can see it. And then this is a second plant with two leaves that are variegated. Which is crazy because I had one, let's see if it's here, this was a variegated watermelon peperomia, but it just declined and it didn't matter what I did, the thing just died. So, um, amazing. Oh, my eyeliner is like, oh, what is, oh, that's a dark circle from the, oh, it looks like I was like punched in the face. Is that makeup, do you think? Oh, it's makeup. Okay, I was like, it looks like I literally got punched. No, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, very good watermelon pepperomia. Then we have, put this guy back. This is a silver swill. Um, I paid $10 for this. I already have one of these right here, this thingy. Its botanical name is Letiboria socialis. So here you can see, same plant. Um, at least I think, oh no, they're different. This one has red on the undersides, so this must be a different subspecies. Yeah, okay, so this one is super silver. See all the silver in tiny spots? This one has big green spots. Oops. Now I have two plants from the same family. That is really cool. And it's got a flowering situation happening. And then the last one, I got is this super tiny baby Santa Maria cactus. You can see the purple. And this was $1.50. My total was $50.30, I believe, or something. Um, you guys already saw the total. For a variegated watermelon peperomia, a Letiboria species, a uh, eight inch Monstera deliciosa, and a Santa Marita cactus. Thank you guys so much for watching my houseplant video. Please make sure to leave a like, please subscribe, please tweet me at plantmeashley. Make sure to turn on that notification bell so that you are always notified. Wow, okay, I just realized I filmed this whole video. Without turning on my light, what an idiot. Wow, okay. It's okay, we're jumping back into filming. We haven't filmed in a hot second, so. Um, why are my shoulders? Still got some muscle left over from track and field. My traps are finally, or not traps, what are these, lats? Finally shrinking, but they are, they used to like come all the way out to here. Anyways, I also used to have like the biggest triceps ever and now they're tiny, which makes me pretty happy because I'm so jealous of all these girls out there with these itty bitty tiny arms in there. You can like see their collarbones, like my collarbones are covered by my, uh, what are these? These are the traps. My traps used to be here. I'll find a picture somewhere and I'll put a couple in, 
but my traps used to be here because I was always doing like military press and I would always do front squats and back squats and my traps just got so big and so I never got to have that like cute feminine body. I was always like, Ugh, I'm like in a hulk out of my clothes. That's why I have so many tank tops because it was hard to find a t-shirt that would fit over my shoulder. But they look like they're becoming like normal arms now, which makes me happy, so. Okay, bye. <laughs> Trigger warning, we are going to be talking about weirdly in this video anorexia and body dysmorphia as well as weight loss so um if you don't want to hear about that because you struggle with people talking about that um don't watch this part of the video and you there won't be any more houseplant content from here on out so if you don't want that click away uh this one is only for people who are interested in hearing about my personal issues with anorexia and body dysmorphia as for some reason i decided to talk about it in this video okay goodbye <laughs> So welcome to the secret ending of this video. I went back and found some photos and I'm gonna show them to you. In this next upcoming picture, you will see how prominent my shoulders were. And I just wanna say I'm not doing this to brag, I just wanna really show to you guys how freaking heckin' tremendous my shoulders were. I also had a very hard time finding jeans to wear because my legs wouldn't fit into anything. This picture I chose because you can see just how freaking enormous my traps were. This one as well, you can see that my straps clearly go way over my shoulders up onto my traps. So that was my life. <laughs> I also do want to say um, that I had a friend that made me extremely uncomfortable with my body. She always told me that I was that I had man arms, that everyone said I looked like a man. She wrote me a fake letter from a modeling agency that she supposedly worked for that we found out later that she actually wasn't a model at all, um, saying that my body looked too much like a man and that I was basically a man and not a woman. And at the time I thought it was a real letter, so I basically went through high school hating my body even though looking back at it now it looks so good and so that's kind of why i talk about it like you know i wish i had those dainty arms because i always looked like i was gonna hulk out that was my friend's words not mine um and i'm not saying that i hated this body like i love looking back on it now i love it it's so beautiful and i'm sure that's how i'll look back on the body that i have right now as well even though i look nothing like that anymore um, but I just wanted to, I, I don't know, I guess, throw in here some pictures because, I don't know, um, I know this, like, video is taking a turn, but only the real ones are gonna stay here anyways. I've been posting a lot about my weight loss journey on my Instagram lately because, as you guys know, I struggle with anorexia and I severely still struggle with body dysmorphia every single day. Um, and it's body dysmorphia that made me in the video earlier look at my shoulders and be like, oh, I'm so glad they're getting smaller now because I hated them before. Um, and it's true, I had massive shoulders before. I couldn't put on most shirts. I would have to get size medium in shirts and they would look so bad on me because, like, this was a medium. This track shirt is a medium and I fit it now because, you know, I grew up and became a woman. But, um, I don't know. I just want to say, like, going into this new year, everyone's making all these resolutions about losing weight and... You know, I'm personally losing weight because I want to get my life in order before my wedding and I want to be able to have a wedding dress that I really want and I want to really, really, really rock it because I'm a little terrified I'll never look prettier. Um, wow, I'm getting deep here. <laughs> I'm a little terrified that I'll never look prettier than when I had that prom, which is actually the picture that I showed you. Um... So yeah, I guess just going into this new year, make sure that you guys appreciate your bodies now because you never know when you might lose them. Um, I wish that I had been able to appreciate my body back in high school. I wish I hadn't been anorexic. Uh, and I wasn't anorexic in those pictures that you saw, by the way. That's when I was healthy. Um, it was right before all of that stuff happened. But I don't know. I just wanted to jump in here and say that Everyone's like, I gotta go to the gym, I gotta lose weight. Um, I, I totally believe in everyone's body types. And I don't think that you need to be thin to be uh, beautiful. I just have always personally, because of my mental struggles, wanted to be Kendall Jenner skinny. You know, um, but that's not healthy. 
and I'm learning how to appreciate my body for its curves and all of its faults and, you know, not the photoshopped stuff. So, um, yeah, that's going to be part of my journey in 2020 as well is appreciating myself and not just wanting to be a thin person. I, I want to be a healthy person. And that's what my weight loss journey is for. It's the first time I've ever lost weight in a healthy way where I wasn't starving myself. Except for like, over a year and a half ago when I lost 25 pounds on the FODMAP diet and exercising and not starving myself. But since then I've relapsed a couple times and this is, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right and it's important for me. And I just, I guess I wanted to show you guys what body dysmorphia looks like. What it looks like is me standing there filming my plant video and then looking at my body and criticizing it because I am just blinded by this stupid issue that I have with not being able to recognize that I am pretty and beautiful and um yeah and I've always wanted this channel to be about plants Raven shh. I've always wanted this channel to be about plants but I also want it to be about all of us overcoming our mental illnesses together and I don't feel like people talk about that stuff enough. So again, like I said, welcome to the secret ending of this video where we get deep and talk about our mental health struggles. But I just feel like everyone's like, oh, 2020, you gotta lose weight, whatever. You don't have to. You're beautiful the way that you are. And even if you don't believe that, um, I'll be here to believe it for you. Because unlike how I cannot really see how I look to myself, I'm completely aware of what other people look like around me, and I'm usually jealous, um, which is also something I'm trying to work on, so. Let's go into 2020, and instead of trying to be something we're not, let's learn how to accept who we are. I only want to lose three more pounds before I start wedding dress fittings, um, but that's because I was an unhealthy weight. I have been, I'd been going out and, like, eating a bunch of Burger King like every single night, which isn't healthy because I have IBS and it was making me so sick and eating ice cream and having milkshakes because I was like, it's Christmas, why not? Um, but I ended up gaining like 15 pounds. So I'm getting back down to the top of my healthy weight range, which is about 135 to 140. And I'm 142 right now. So I just want to lose those last couple of pounds so that I can be in my healthy range because that's what's healthy for me and that's what I want. Not that anyone else needs to do that, so. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope that, you know, we can be more than just a plant channel because I love houseplants and, I mean, you can look at my room. <laughs> That's like how I literally live my life every single day. All I do is take care of my plants. Um, but I also want to be able to do other stuff on here and you know, I don't know, do whatever I want. <laughs> so, happy new year, and I hope that you guys had a great day, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!